Hello and welcome to the Community Grant Awards 2021. I'm Claire Hamilton and I'm the Chief Executive of Decorum Borough Council. Thank you all for tuning in to watch these awards. Unfortunately, due to the current situation, we're not able to hold a face-to-face -face ceremony this year, but it's as important as ever for us to celebrate the good work of the community and the voluntary sector in Decorum. So tonight, we celebrate our community grant scheme and we raise awareness of the amazing projects undertaken by the community and voluntary sector. Our community grant fund has been running for decades and since introducing our small grants fund in 2017, we have reached out to even more groups than ever before. This financial year, we have awarded over £70,000 to nearly 40 groups to help deliver projects in decorum. This year, our grants have helped fund large scale projects such as the fantastic Active Decorum Hub. This is a multi-use space for community groups and fitness classes with a cafe and meeting space run by Apex in the community. And we've also funded projects to help the community recover from the effects of COVID-19 and lockdown, such as funding the Heather Club to pilot a project using technology to connect with their members who aren't confident using the internet. But tonight we celebrate those wonderful projects that we've supported in 2019-20, which have made such a positive impact on our local communities. I hope you're watching this tonight and feeling really proud of the positive impacts that you have on our community. The council is proud that we've been able to protect community grants, where other councils have had to reduce spending on grants in recent years. We recognise the incredible value of voluntary and community groups in understanding people's needs, their innovation in developing solutions, and their ability to deliver projects and run services leading to improved outcomes for the community. All the voluntary and community groups in Decorum have a huge impact on our residents, and for that I would like to thank them and to encourage them to continue the excellent work that they do in Decorum. We're now going to have a wonderful performance by Electric Umbrella, which we hope you enjoy. And we'd like to thank Electric Umbrella members and staff for creating this performance for us, especially tonight. Thank you. Welcome to Electric Umbrella TV. Welcome to the Electric Umbrella Open Mic Night. And welcome to the Electric Umbrella Sing Along. Electric Umbrella Music Machine. The Big Yellow Choir. It's the Breakfast Club. Electric Umbrella Cyber Session. And it is amazing to bring you all together under this Electric Umbrella where music, where passion, where laughter, where being together and togetherness, that is what this is all about. And it is so great to see you. believe that you're with us Joe but you're sitting in a hospital bed having had a procedure um, and, and are you feeling roughly all right Joe let's just say roughly all right let's get together and feel all right what would you have been doing do you think if we if you didn't have electric umbrella during lockdown well, I might suffer with our time of it Team stopped that threw everything out for Georgia, and that was really what upset the most. One thing, thing, one thing, seven thing. 
What do you think life would have been like if we hadn't been able to continue with, with the choir during lockdown? Am I that lonely? You, lonely. You've, said it, you've said it perfectly. It's keeping people happy. And it's just, it's changing a lot of people for making big smiles. Nothing better in this world to For me, you know, they, it's not like a second family. Fantastic, fantastic. What? Say it again? I, I think fantastic all. Fantastic all. It, it, mean, so. it means fantastic in 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 Italy. La di da. It's just that's not just mum or dad, but something that's 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 theirs. It's Charlotte, everybody. Now, Farrah, Farrah is a new friend of ours who's come on, uh, on board uh, Electric Umbrella through the, the sing-along. We basically have like 100 people. We sing where everybody's there. Have you been enjoying it, Farrah? Yeah, I'm doing it today. Sorry, I've been on every single week. I can't help myself. <laughs> Fun dandy panties. <laughs> Electric funny. Oh, we can do things. No mouths, no words. Lovely flowers, colours. Now, Billy, what I've got here is all the things that you just said, okay? You just said something about being lots about colourful, you said the word crazy, rainbow, colours, um, lovely colours, flowers, I didn't write that down. Um, you talked about your heroes, you talked about owls, you talked about Amy Winehouse, yeah. and the Queen, and um, you like black, blue, pink, white, um, and love your sister. <laughs> Really, that, that's our song right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all of that stuff that you just sang, just, and it was all just so from the top of your head and from the, from right in your heart, I absolutely love it. Because it's making everyone happy it's, it's, and it's making everyone singing and something fun to think about and depressing times. Don't believe it, just watch an electric umbrella TV. Wow. I heard there was a place with stars shine Bright as the sun in daytime A place that I could call my home Send me a map to where I Want to spend my one life In a place that I can grow Where flowers all have special powers And they want us to find out
performance. It just goes to show how we can still have a thriving community sector through lockdown and social distancing, even if it is remotely. We are very fortunate that here in Decorum, we have such a thriving voluntary and community sector. There are a multitude of local community groups and charities, each with different aims and objectives, but ultimately all trying to help people and make a difference to the lives of Decorum residents. There are groups such as Electric Umbrella, empowering and enriching li lives through music. There are community choirs connecting people through singing, sports clubs improving health and well-being, groups supporting vulnerable people reducing social and digital isolation, and groups putting on a digital events to bring the whole community together. This year has been a particular focus on culture, with it being Hertfordshire's Year of Culture 2020. We have funded community projects through our community grants this year who have committed to deliver projects which align with increasing access to culture for our residents. This has included Bruised by a Bear Theatre Company who produce a series of short films called Nothing on Earth. You can watch these films online. I hope you enjoy them. We also recognise the hard work of groups that goes into applying for funding as bid writing can be very time consuming and sometimes frustrating. If your community group is currently looking for funding and has a project idea, you may be interested to know that our next round of funding opens on the 1st of April and closes on the 28th of May. If you have any questions about applying or if you're not sure if your project is suitable, please, please speak to our community partnership team. Help with completing the online application form is available through the Support for Decorum service delivered by Community Action Decorum. Support for Decorum offers a range of information, support and advice to voluntary and community groups in Decorum. If you are looking for support with your fundraising, managing your organisation or recruiting and retaining volunteers, please contact Loretta at Community Action Decorum. Now on to the awards. Thank you to all the groups who made an application and put their projects forward for our Community Grant Awards 2020. And now we come to our awards. The first category is the Decorum Compact Partnership Award. The recipient of this award impressed the panel by adapting their focus during lockdown to provide vital equipment and PPE to local key workers and frontline organisations. They used their resources to cement solid partnerships and gave vital support to the community. Congratulations to our winners, D-Lab! Our next category is Equality and Diversity. There was a clear outright winner in this category. This project delivered a music tour to mainstream schools across the Quorum to educate and challenge perceptions of people with learning disabilities. The following quote from the head teacher of South Hill Primary School sums up the impact of this project brilliantly. What an amazing visit from Electric Umbrella. The songs really lifted the whole school community and there was laughter and smiles on everyone's faces. This really does support well-being. Thank you. Think yellow. Just smile. Congratulations to Electric Umbrella. Yeah, all right. Don't go, don't go mad. That's enough. Goodness gracious. Next, we come to the award for community capacity. The winners of this award haven't been able to use their newly repaired pavilion much due to COVID restrictions. However, they've been able to offer the space to their neighbouring organisation, Riding for the Disabled, to aid social distancing and offer COVID secure shelter to visiting children. During this difficult time, to be able to build the capacity of other community groups is fantastic. Well done, Great Gadsden Cricket Club. Next is the Regeneration category. Highly commended in this category is Great Gadsden Cricket Club for their pavilion roof replacement project. The winner in this category have used their grant to both improve the aesthetics of their building and the energy efficiency. This will help to keep the building loved by the community for years to come. Congratulations to Potton End Village Hall.
Now to the award for community event. We felt that there was one outright winner of the award this year. The winner of this award rapidly transitioned their spring fair online when the country was put under lockdown last year. They expanded their activities up to 50 online and outdoor events and created a video especially for VE Day. One resident said, I thought the whole production was excellent and the balance was spot on. I do not think it could have been more relevant to the times we're living in. Well done, Tring Together! Now we come to the volunteering category. Highly commended in this category is D-Lab for their project Connecting People Through Technology. The winners of this award were able to adjust their plans so that their volunteers were able to maintain support for the families they work with throughout lockdown. Their volunteer family mentors gave telephone, digital and practical support as well as going out for walk and talk se sessions when restrictions allowed. Some quotes from families included... My volunteer family mentor gave practical tips that changed things for the better. Congratulations to Home Start Hearts. Yay! Next is our health and well-being category. We're so lucky in Decorum to have fantastic organisations making a positive impact on the health and well-being of our residents. For this category, we have two highly commended projects. First is Home Start Hearts for their Support for Parents Suffering from Mental Health Needs project. Secondly, we have Be Creative for the Hashtag Dance project. The winner in the health and wellbeing category has continued to get our residents up and moving throughout lockdown. They've helped older adults stay active and reduce social and dis digital isolation through their online dance workshops. Well done to Decorum Community Dance! The final award is the Active Decorum Award. This award recognises the organisations which work to support the aims of Active Decorum, whether as a sporting or physical activity or through arts and culture. The winner of this award has supported all our aims. They were a flagship project for Hearthshire of Culture 2020. Through a vast range of in-person and online activities, they engaged with families to celebrate and share dance opportunities. The following quote from one participant sums up the project. I liked everything. I really enjoyed it all. I liked meeting all the people, dancing and all the homework and having a crazy time. Absolutely brilliant. Very uplifting. I really loved this and would love to do it again because with this time we've had, it's really helped me. My daughter, my grandson and my son have had a great laugh and told me to go for it. Congratulations and well done to Be Creative. We've now reached the end of the virtual awards evening and I hope you will agree with me that all the groups which received awards this evening are very deserving indeed. Through their hard work and commitment in delivering these projects, Decorum residents have benefited in many ways. Whether it's improving community facilities, putting on an event, or encouraging volunteering, they all help to enrich civic life and contribute to outcomes such as reducing social isolation and improving health and well-being. We would like to thank all the groups that have received awards for their contribution to enhancing community life for our residents. Decorum has a thriving voluntary and community sector and we're proud that we're able to support some of the worthwhile projects they deliver through our community grants funding. Thank you to you all for watching our first ever virtual awards this evening and we do hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to seeing many of you in person next year. And don't forget, the closing date for the next round of funding is the 28th of May.